I graduated North Henderson High School in 2003, and uh, I did the Auto One and Auto Two programs. I never really planned on going to four-year college. Uh, if anything, I was going to take the two-year degree, get a two-year degree, and then maybe transfer, if, depending on what I decided to do. And I finally decided I wanted to do automotive, and it was only a two-year degree anyways, and you didn't have to transfer to four-year college. You could get your bachelor's later on if you wanted to, or work as a technician, or maybe move to service manager, service rider later on. I guess once I got into classes, just really liked it and thought it'd be a good career. And car always breaks down, so you're always going to need somebody to fix it. So, choosing the right career is never an easy task, and the college you choose for your education can have lasting implications. Adam chose Blue Ridge Community College for his education. All the teachers were very helpful, any questions you had, knowledgeable on all their subjects. So overall, it was a pretty good experience. You start out with usually basic automotive classes along with your core classes. If you, you didn't have to take those, if you wanted a diploma, you could take just automotive classes, but I wanted my associate's degree. I just started college, I guess it was October, September, and uh, me and my wife found out that she was pregnant, and so uh, we had a kid on the way. Um, I didn't have a job at the time. I was trying to go to school full time. Um, after Christmas, uh, Chris English helped me get the job here at BMW, and uh, started that. And so I was trying to juggle work along with school and family and home life, and it was just a, a lot going on. It took a lot of time to make sure everybody got the right amount of time that they needed and deserved. I kept time with make sure you're doing your homework and schoolwork, make sure you're making good grades and uh, just have your priorities in line. Higher education is not just about attending classes and doing your homework. There are various programs available that can enrich your education and give you a head start within your chosen field. The co-op program is basically a program where students can get real world experience in, in a field of their study. So Adam came in here and we used him um, to help with minor stuff at the beginning and then we built from there based on his experience and, and uh, technical knowledge as he went through school and as he got real world experience here at the dealership. Most classes include a lab along with the classroom exercises and so instead of doing a lab you could actually co-op and they would give you a list of activities or things that you needed to accomplish while you were working. Like if you were in brakes, it would be measuring brakes, turning rotors, or anything related to the actual class you were taking, and you would try to fulfill those exercises at work hands-on as opposed to just doing it in a shop car and lab car that many people have been into and things like that. So it was just able to get more hands-on experience, more work experience, as opposed to just being in a shop and going through the motions. One of the advantages for us, and I've always felt is a huge advantage, is people that are local here tend to want to stay here. And if we can get young students that want to stay here or want to work in this area, it's just better off for us because they already are here, they're established, we're not trying to hire people from out of state. Chris English was also my academic advisor, so I was able to go to him and we were able to work out the best schedule for classes, when classes were offered, and uh, which ones I actually needed for my degree. And so, the process of just playing with it, we were able to come up with a good schedule, usually each semester, to fulfill my credit hours and also being able to work. I would come to work in the morning, get here 7.30, and go to class around lunchtime and then work till the end of the day and then go back to school for night classes. Had online classes at the same time. Just trying to be able to juggle everything. Sometimes earning a degree is only the start of your higher education. Whether it's on the job training, graduate programs, or seminars taking on evenings and weekends, these days being a lifelong learner is essential to success. After I graduated, I had a job here and so I graduated probably May of 2005 and in October, November of 2005 I went to the BMW STEP program. The BMW of Asheville actually sponsored me to go down to Orlando. The BMW STEP program is an intensive seven month program that 
that BMW has. Uh, the dealer basically, we pay uh, a tuition for him to go to that. Uh, right now it runs about $11,000. Uh, for us to send a student down there for that program. Um, and that's just for the school part, and it's a seven month program. A very intensive BMW specific training. Just on all their models from way back, probably in the 90s all the way to current models, I was able to fast track my um, training as opposed to getting a class here or a class there, you're able to group all your classes into six months and fast track through it. So before you send a student down there, you want them to know a little bit about uh, We want to make sure, first of all, they got the right work ethic, they have the right attitude, uh, the right image that BMW wants to have, uh, and that we feel that they can do it. We don't want to send somebody that's going to fail. So we want to make sure that the student is prepared has the capacity to pass the program. The requirement was an associate's degree of some sort. They didn't necessarily care which college it came from, um, but there was people from all over the nation that got accepted into the program. We actually went to, had to take a big test down in Charlotte and uh, make a good grade on the test and had to do a few interviews to be able to get in even though I was being sponsored. So just because I worked somewhere doesn't mean I actually got into the program. You had to fulfill some of their wants before you could actually get in. Sounds highly selective. Yeah, it was. Um, I don't know what percentage, there was probably 15 to 20 people in my class. They probably did three classes at a time. So, I mean, for six months, so there's not a whole lot of kids going through it at one time. They had four or five programs across the country at that time. From there, most of the kids would go and interview at different dealerships where they wanted to work, whatever state, it wasn't limited, and, uh, but I already had a job to come back to. His work ethic um, and his desire to learn and to do well um, just really came out and we you know, really were impressed by that. And when he came to us and said, I'd really like to be here full time and, and go on with some BMW training, we were all behind it. We had had him here for about two years at that point and uh, we all agreed and decided to spend the, the money for the, you know, to invest in his future and uh, his education with BMW. Back in 2005 when I was still going to school I received the Top Gun Award from uh, BMW. I was ranked top 10 in the nation in the customer satisfaction survey. They give a survey to each customer when they leave the dealership based on how we met their service needs or did everything go okay, was your car fixed properly and I received the highest score from that. You are looking for a college education or, I, or not? I am. I, I think that's an important first step. A two-year school is not necessarily the end-all be-all for us because there's a lot of training that goes on. Um, beyond what you learn in a, in a two-year school. Um, like I said, with the STEP program, it's a seven-month, very intensive, every day, all day training. We also hired another student from Blue Ridge Community College who's still working for us. And he didn't go to STEP program, but he's, we're sending him to classes as they come along, little by little. He'll probably do two or three classes a year. Uh, either in Greer or in uh, Atlanta. But without the fundamentals and the basics, you can't grow on anything. There's so much information to cover with the automotive system because all the systems work together to be able to make a car run, but once you break those down into subsystems, I mean, there's so much information, you're able to get a good foundation, that's the key, is just to get a good foundation for each system, knowing how, the, how it properly works and how to diagnose it, and with that knowledge, you can grow and be able to figure out if you do have a problem or avoid problems with preventive maintenance or whatnot. What's the store for your future? I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe probably still a technician. I mean I like it. I mean uh, it's hard work and it's something new every day. It's not like you have to sit in front of a computer and look at the same screen every day or sit in a factory and open the same box after box. You, 
You get to see new cars, new problems every day. You get to go, you have to test drive them. You don't have to sit down all day, you get out. You know, it's, it's constantly changing, something new every day. Is there somewhere to go up? You can always go up, shop foreman. Uh, sometimes uh, technicians can move into service manager positions with, uh, with training. I'd say maybe if you added a business degree or something along with what I, the automotive degree that I have and the work experience, you may be able to move into a position like that. I mean, everybody's gonna wanna look for work experience, so it's a good place to start, a good dealership to be at. Would you recommend Blue Ridge Community College to friends and family? Definitely, it's a, it's a, I'd say cost efficient. Uh, any four year college you go to, usually the first two years are gonna be the same anywhere you go. And so being able to get a degree from there, you could always transfer it to a four year college and save a lot of money, and live at home and whatnot. Plus they have all the trade programs that you could want. They had the welding, the body repair, the automotive, HVAC, they had anything that you could uh, want if you wanted to pursue a trade. They also have great advisors that would point you in any direction. They could answer all your questions and be able to help you find out what you would want to do. They know all the classes that are offered. They could they have access to all the information. So getting hooked up with a, an advisor would be a, a great way to start. I would say you maybe wouldn't have to have your mind made up definitely on what you were going to do when you start. There's so many programs there. You might could, uh, if you weren't sure, you could take different programs to kind of find out what you like, fine tune what you want to do when you get older. That way you don't stay in college forever. You know, some people decide they want to do one degree or another and they keep going to school after school and uh, maybe they could fine tune what they actually want to do. From Adam's experience at Blue Ridge Community College, he has this advice for those looking at a career in automotive systems technology. Study hard and when you're in class, pay attention, build a good foundation. Uh, they also, the instructors will notice work ethic as you go throughout the program and that's the students they see with better work ethic, being on time, they may recommend for the better jobs or the better co-ops or something like that. So I mean, if you're just there to mess around, they'll probably look over you and trying to find you a job or trying to help you out. They may not be as apt for you as they would be if you were a hard worker or a good helper or on time, punctual. So just, just pretend like it's a job and try to go there and act like that and get your name out there, make good grades and they'll be able to help you out the most. Success can be defined in many ways. While some might base it on their income, Adam doesn't see it that way have a wonderful family and a good job and I mean I don't think success can be defined maybe as monetary I mean you don't have to have a lot of money to be successful I think if you're good at what you do and enjoy what you do you can be successful with anything. Mm -hmm.